What's going on you guys? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today so far. Now guys, we are about to embark on a doozy. This video is literally going to be math and that math is going to translate to how many Brawl Boxes it takes in order to max out an account in Brawl Stars and how many gems we need in order to purchase those Brawl Boxes and how much it's going to cost in order to purchase those gems. So hopefully you guys are pumped up. Let's jump right into the information. Just Alright guys, before we get deep into this information, there's a few quick numbers that we need to go over first so that the things that we talk about later make sense. So basically, when we're looking to max out our account, it comes down to two very important resources, and that is power points and gold, and how much total amount we need in order to max out our account. Now, in order to get those numbers, we first need to take a look at how many power points one brawler needs in order to max them out, and how much gold it costs to level them up each consecutive level. So those numbers come out to be we need 1,410 power points on each brawler, and 3,090 gold to level up all those power points to maxed. So next what we're going to do is multiply those numbers by 21 representing the total amount of brawlers that we have in the game right now. And what we have when we do that is the two most important key bits of information that we have moving forward in this video and that is the total amount of power points and the total amount of gold that we need to receive from the brawl boxes in order to max out our account in Brawl Stars. So the total amount of power points that we need to get out of the brawl boxes is 29,600 and 10 power points and the total amount of gold is 64,890. So next we need to find an average of how much gold and how much power points we get out of each individual brawl box and thankfully we have a pretty accurate set of data that we pulled from a really awesome source and that is from my really good friend from high school Ben Tim one if you guys weren't aware he made a video a few days ago where he opened up 1,353 brawl boxes it was insane but guys the more brawl boxes that we can open in one given time the more more accurate this data is going to be so since he opened up so many because Ben is awesome and he opened up so many we're gonna be able to get a pretty accurate set of data on how the averages look in each individual brawl box when we're taking a look at how many power points and how much gold we get so thankfully Ben in the beginning of the video showed us how many power points he had on each individual brawler before he opened up the brawl boxes and then afterwards once he was done he showed us how many power points he had after so with that information we can see how many power points total he opened up with all of those brawl boxes and the gold is just there to display we were able to see how much he started with and how much he ended with so we have the information we need in order to see how much power points and how much gold we get on average per brawl box so once Ben completed opening up 1,353 Brawl Boxes, he walked away with a total of 20,450 Power Points, 31,751 Gold, Tickets 433, and Gems 506. Now these totals that I gave you were subtracted from the amounts that he already had before he started the Brawl Box opening. So these are the given totals that he opened up from 1,353 Brawl Boxes. So next what we have to do is divide the total amount of Gold and Power Points to the total amount of Brawl Boxes that Ben opened up, so 1,353, to see the averages per Brawl Box, how much gold and how much power points we get for each individual Brawl Box that we open. Now again, we're only looking at one set of data, so it's only as accurate as it can be. It'd be much more accurate if we had five different people do the same exact thing and then average it in the very end. However, since Ben opened up such a copious amount of Brawl Boxes, we have a pretty accurate number that we end up with for the averages of each individual Brawl Box. So the averages come out to be 23.467 gold and 15 15.1 power points per brawl box so rounded 23 gold and 15 power points per brawl box so now that we have the averages of gold and power points that we received from one brawl box we can take those key numbers the total amount of power points and the total amount of gold that we need in order to max out our account and divide those big numbers by the averages of each individual brawl box so that we get a grand total of how many brawl boxes we need to open in order to receive that amount of power points and that amount of gold so in order to get that total amount of power points being 29,600 in order to max out our account, we need to open up a grand total of 1,960 Brawl Boxes and to receive the 64,890 gold, we need to open up a grand total of 2,765 Brawl Boxes. Now this gives credence as to how hard it is to get gold and why all the YouTubers are preaching, make sure to double your coins when you watch your ads out of your Brawl Boxes because as you can see the difference, it's so much easier to get the total amount of power points we need to max out our account out of the Brawl Boxes than it is the gold. 
We have a, about an 800 Brawl Box gap. It's insane. So with the information that we have, we know that we have to open up 1,960 Brawl Boxes in order to get the total amount of power points to max out all of our Brawlers in Brawl Stars. So once you're finished opening up 1,960 Brawl Boxes, you want to stop there. You have all the power points you need. The only thing you need now is the gold. You could continue opening up Brawl Boxes to the 2,703 Brawl Boxes to get the remainder gold, but it wouldn't be as efficient as it would be to go in the shop and purchase the gold with the gems. So it'd be 140 for 1,200 gold. So with the amount of Brawl Boxes that you open, you're still going to be 18,894 coins short. So to get that remainder gold, you're going to have to open up 16 different coin packs and add 140 gems per pop and start to get a little bit expensive, but it's nowhere near how much 1,960 Brawl Boxes is going to cost you. So guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, taking a look at the gem total. So in order to get the 1,960 Brawl Boxes, we have to open up 196 Mega Brawl Boxes. Now I know a lot of YouTubers have been preaching it's important to get tickets and jump into Robo Rumble, but since we have a cap on tickets every single week, it would take way too many weeks to save up your tickets in order to get 1,960 Brawl Boxes. So the only feasible route that you can take is opening up Mega Brawl Boxes. So that's 196 Mega Brawl Boxes. So at 80 gems a pop, you're looking at 15,680 gems in order to purchase 196 Mega Brawl Boxes. Now you still need to purchase the gold and like I was saying before you need 16 different gold packs at 140 gems per pop and that's going to be a grand total of 2,204 gems. Adding those together a grand total of 17,884 gems. Now when we divide the total amount of gems that we've come up with by the biggest amount that we could purchase in the shop being 1,950 gems for 100 US dollars, we have to buy 10 of them, 9.66 to be exact, and that would translate to $1,000 or $966 to be exact. Now again, we're working with one set of data, so it's a rough estimate, but it's in the ballpark of $1,000 in order to max out your account in Brawl Stars. $966 or $1,000 to max it out. Alright guys, so a few things I want to add here at the end really quick that I'm sure some people are going to have questions about. One being, we didn't include Star Powers, which is literally maxing out the Brawlers. So it could be that we might get even more Brawl Boxes that we have to open, but I didn't want to match up the probability because since we're opening up 2,000 Brawl Boxes, I'm assuming we'll be able to open up all of the Star Powers, if not most of the Star Powers, while we're opening up the Brawl Boxes. Same goals for the Brawler probabilities, and that was something that really came into my mind before making this video, and that is what if we don't get Crow in the very end or a Spike in the very end. But guys, I assure you, I can almost guarantee 99% sure that you will get get all the brawlers if you open up upwards of 2,000 brawl boxes. You would have to be one of the most unlucky people in the entire world to not get all the brawlers when you're opening up 2,000 brawl boxes. Just for example, if you were to open up 2,000 brawl boxes, giving the base percent of pulling a legendary brawler being 0.11 something percent, you could get him two times over. And that's not to mention if you were to open up all those brawl boxes, your percent would increase dramatically. So in reality, if your percent would go up, you could get crow like four or five times over. Alrighty guys, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. I had so much fun figuring out just how much it could be to max out your account. Again, it's kind of in the ballpark, somewhere around $900 to $1,000 because we only looked at one set of data. But guys, we got a ballpark and it's so cool to see that it's like upwards of $1,000 to max out your account. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. Also comment down below if you plan on maxing out your account anytime soon. So guys, with that being said, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.